Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11 23H2 has also received its September Patch Tuesday security update, which is KB5065431. And once the update has been applied, the OS build will be bumped up to 22631.5909. Now, first of all, the update would, as always, address security issues for your Windows OS because the Patch Tuesday security updates that roll out on the second Tuesday are mainly focusing on patching security vulnerabilities. And for 23H2, there are 81 security flaws that have been patched, the same as Windows 10. And this month, we also get two zero-day vulnerabilities that have been patched. So this is an important update because those will be critical, which will be ranked your highest vulnerability. And zero days exploited in the wild are current out there, active and happening. So an important security update rolling out for Windows 11 23H2. 81 security flaws have been patched in total. Now over and above the security fixes that have rolled out, Microsoft has also rolled out a bug fix and an update as part of this um, security patch. And the first is a fix that's addressing a known issue, which I have posted on quite in depth on the channel, where it addresses an issue that caused non-admin users to receive unexpected user account control, UAC prompts, when MSR installers perform certain custom actions. And the issue Microsoft says could prevent non-admin users from running apps that perform MSR repairs, including Office Professional Plus 2010 and multiple applications from Autodesk, including AutoCAD. So that's nice to see that that known issue has been addressed where there was an app compatibility issue that has been patched now. Nice to see. And then there's also a update for enterprise environments but the update enables, Microsoft says, auditing SMB client compatibility for SMB server signing as well as SMB server EPA. And what this does, Microsoft says, it allows customers to assess their environment and identify any potential device or software incompatibility issues before deploying the hardening measures that are already supported by SMB server. That's server message block. So... A known issue has been squashed and there's an update for file server. And now the update will also contain fixes and quality improvements that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of August last month, KB5064080. And as always, I did post a whole video on that. I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like more info. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. So if you didn't install this update, these improvements will be carried over into the Patch Tuesday September update. Now, first of all, it includes a new Windows backup for organizations. So basically, the long and the short of that is, is that the file transfer feature for so-called home users is now available for organizations and enterprises. It fixes a device manager issue related to USB blocking of external devices. So that's quite an important fix. It fixes a file explorer slowdown in relation to SharePoint syncing. And it also fixes the REFS resilient file system and fixes a Wi-Fi bug and more. There were a couple of other bug fixes taking place under the hood. But that's just a quick recap. Check the video out if you'd like some more information. So guys, that's more or less what's new in KB5065431 for Windows 11 23H2, which rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 9th of September. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.